हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस न्यू ब्लॉग न्यू डे लाइफ एट सी आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड इन योर लाइफ एंड एंजॉइंग योर वीकेंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टेड बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट माय जॉब्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैट आई परफॉर्म ऑन बोर्ड बट बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट डे बिफोर ये स्टडे वी डिपार्ट शंघाई दैट इज द मोस्ट बिजिएस्ट स्पोर्ट इन द वर्ल्ड सो इन्जॉय सम ग्लिम्स ऑफ शंघाई डिपार्चर सी यू इन अ फ्यू मिनट्स This is Merit Mars sister vessel of Margaret Mars. As you can see during departure we were going away from the jetty using tug ports and both thruster. So as we had to take a U turn so both tug ports are pulling us. So one tug port is pulling and another one is pushing to turn the ship 180 degree. let me show you the current location of our vessel on the map our last port was shanghai in china that is the most busiest port in the world now we are heading to dalian china that is more in the north the day we depart from the shanghai the temperature was there like 16 uh, plus 16 plus 15 but now we are here this is our current location of the vessel and now the outside temperature is minus 4 degrees celsius and uh, it's really snowing outside so 1900 is our arrival on the next port that is dalian in china somewhere around here so guys did you like shanghai departure if yes please let me know in the comment section so now this is a time to tell you about my jobs and responsibility that i perform on board guys this is a job description of an electrical engineer on board So these are like three to four pages. If I'm going to read all of them, it is gonna take long time. So I'm going to tell you about our jobs and responsibility in short. So being an electrical engineer on board ship, our first priority, our first priority job is to take care of reefers, maintain troubleshoot of the reefer containers and reefer cargoes. So from loading of the reefer container on board till the reefer container gets discharged, we are the only responsible of taking care of the reefer. maintenance troubleshooting of the reefer container and reefer cargoes and secondly we are responsible of taking care maintain and troubleshoot all the electrical and electronic equipments present on board ship doesn't matter whether it is in engine room and on deck whatever all the machinery whatever all the electrical machinery present on board we are the responsible of taking care maintain and troubleshoot As I told you reefers are our first priority in our job responsibility so before going to all other electrical jobs we always make sure that all the reefers all the reefer containers are running in range without any abnormality without any problem or if there is any problem so in first priority we have to solve those problem before going to another electrical jobs and in the future all the shipping companies are going to adopt automation in their ships so in future our jobs and responsibility are going to increase more and more and yes we electrical engineers are in demand so every morning we start our day with the reefer rounds and uh, we go for reefer rounds on deck as well as inside cargo hold so today i have uh, opportunity to show that how the cargo hold look like so let's go francis coming vivek guy okay. yeah francis i'm going to check reefers on bay 58 Yeah, okay, very high wind. The wind is from starboard side, so you can pass from port side. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Let's go, guys. I have already informed Bridge that I'm going to check reefers on B58. There is a problem on that bay. We are going to the Dalian and a little bit bad weather here. As we are in bad weather, the outside temperature is minus 3.5. So before going out, we need to inform to the bridge so that they know our location. So let's go. Uh, today I will show you that uh, being an electrical engineer, how we perform the reefer rounds on board. Let's go. So guys, this is this side is the port side, and here starboard side. So I have been informed that uh, starboard side is more windy. So I would like to choose port side.
गाइज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट आउट साइड टेम्परेचर इज माइनस थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सो सिंस मॉर्निंग वी हैव अ स्नोइंग हेयर Guys, there, there we have some fishing boats there. So, guys, uh, right now I'm in port side. This side is called port side passageway, and other side is starboard side passageway. Guys, from this uh, vertical ladder, I'll go up, and I will show you that how we access the cargo hold. This is buoy hatch cover. We need to open this hatch cover, then you can access this cargo hold. So, for opening this, we have to use this uh, handle, and uh, there you can see open and shut. So, we need to open. As you can see, the hatch cover is open, and I will go all the way down. By using this vertical ladder, now I have entered to the cargo hold. Now, I will show you that how the cargo hold look. like from inside as this ship is very big and uh, you can see lot of containers are loaded on board and loaded on deck but that's not the only thing that's not the only story this ship has a big tummy to accommodate lot of containers lot of refrigerated cargo inside the cargo hold as well so from inside i'm going to show you how it is look like so as you can see the cargo hold hatch cover the top one is the hatch cover and from there you can see all the way down so that's the bottom of the cargo hold and these are the tiers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 or guide rails for uh, containers like when ever the gantry train start loading the containers so see these are the guides who guide the control containers all the way down now i will go down and show you more nice view from bottom of this cargo hold so guys now we start the cargo hold now in bottom of this cargo hold As you can see, this cargo hold is very, very big. If you look behind me, there are lot of containers I have loaded. Before this cargo hold was full of containers, but now we have discharged a lot of them in China. That's the hatch cover for this cargo hold. Have you ever thought that how all these milk product, food product, pharmaceutical product gets transported from one country to another country, and how import and export is possible? The answer is this refrigerated unit, refrigerated container. So all these milk product, meat product, and food products, pharmaceutical products get stored inside this container, and we set some set point according to the commodity. and this container is fitted with this refrigerated system which keeps all the commodities fresh as per their nature as all these commodities are very sensitive to the temperature changes so there are some calculations which give us exact temperature set point to store all these commodities inside this container So now I'm going to show you this container and give you a little bit idea that what are the things are installed in this unit. This is a refrigerated unit, refrigerated container, and this is the container number. And here is a control unit panel, and uh, there is a compressor, condenser fan, and here you can see evaporator fan. We have two evaporator fan in this unit. and uh, this is a power cable which is going to the power socket for 40 input supply and in this display you can see it is a set point and this is a return air which is coming from the cargo and this is a supply air which is flowing to the cargo so 
these are the evaporator fans which circulate the air inside the unit to cool down the cargo or cool down the commodity inside and we electrical engineers are responsible for all these projected containers so every morning we go for reefer rounds to check that all containers are working in good condition if there is any alarm or abnormality or if there is something that need to be troubleshoot so we are the one taking care of all these units on board guys one whole cargo hold can accommodate approximately 500 containers in it guys i have told you that the temperature outside is minus 3.5 and you can see it's still snowing here and it is so beautiful view here there you can see the area is totally foggy you cannot see even a hundred meter and it's badly snowing i hope you would have liked this video so far and if you have liked this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon If you find this video interesting and entertaining please hit the bell icon and like and subscribe and if you have any question let me know in the comment section if you want me to add something in this video or in my future video just let me know in the comment section till then enjoy your life enjoy your weekend merry christmas in advance keep smiling See you in the next video. See you bye.